to rationalize such uh, opportunity into rationalizing the uh, efforts so that the existing engines can be disciplined to deliver the, 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 the directives of the mandates. So if you can, when you, when you just enter, the, these were some of our publications, SCIs. Uh, these are from my students also. Obhijit is here, Durbadol is here. They have got fantastic ASME papers. Uh, this lab has contributed to more than 40 SCIs, or more than now, it's now more than 45 SCI papers. Uh, and the thing is that uh, we have done our experiments on CNG from the Tripura aspect, it's CNG. We have done LPG, and I have personally done on hydrogen. So what happens is that when we are talking about fuel cells and uh, battery vehicles, it sounds very uh, idealistic, it sounds very nice, oh, the new thing is coming. But nobody is thinking about how the change is to be made. So a rational step towards it is to do something with our existing infrastructure, and mainly these power our rural sectors. So these, if we can tame them, we save a lot, a lot, which we are seeing in the transportation sector. A huge amount is in the rural sector for uh, decentralized power generations, farming pur uh, purposes, and everything. So, so what you do is inject uh, alternate yes, other things uh, yes, there are with, with, the, with the existing fuel? Exactly. See, sir, you can see for yourself, this engine, we have not touched the engine at all. So what we did, we designed a manifold where I can inject my hydrogen or CNG or LPG and trace out its performances. Okay. So you, you uh, develop the, uh, the curve, the power generation curve? Yes, also? yes, we have it there, we have it there. And, uh, and how is the burning characteristics? The burning characteristics, as you see, it definitely gets changed. Otherwise, we won't be having any effect on the pollutants. Okay. Once that happens, it affects the performance to some level. So what we have is a compromise now. It is, it is not about having the best thermal efficiency or the best fuel efficiency. It's the best compromised fuel efficiency and thermal efficiency that we are looking at. And 